Tonight, banned. The fans accused of yelling racially charged slurs towards a visiting black player at a Hawks game over the weekend are not allowed to attend any more games at the UC. Charlie DeMar has the latest. Good evening, and as fans return to the United Center for the first time since that ugly incident, the Hawks' decision to ban those fans, a no-brainer for those who we spoke with. It was anything but picture perfect in front of the United Center Monday. I think it's an absolute shame of what happened. As fans returned to the UC for the first time since Saturday, the rain constant and controversial clouds still remain. Getting involved with Smith Pelly and players in the penalty box. The Washington Capitals' Devontae Smith Pelly visibly upset in the penalty box Saturday after a small group of fans at the United Center directed racially charged slurs at the visiting player. Reportedly yelling basketball over and over, those fans were kicked out. I'm glad that they did what they did um, as far as getting them out of there and even banning them, but it's just it's just crazy nowadays that we're having those kind of reactions from, from fans. I think the public should know who it is so that there can be real repercussions uh, to those individuals. Those four so-called fans shown the door Saturday, the Hawks say they will never be allowed at another home game. How do I feel? I mean, I... Got some Blackhawks fans in the stands, you know, that think a certain way. Uh, I mean, if they were Blackhawks fans, they would know that, you know, there's a black hockey player on their team. Obviously, we don't support that kind of behavior, and uh, I think at, at this in this day and age, uh, it's, I think it's time to start moving past that. There's no place for any of that in society or at sporting events. I think that take my hands off what they did. Um, great job, Hawks, man. Coach Q of the Hawks personally reaching out to the Capitals and Devontae Smith Pelly apologizing. For the incident, the league's commissioner also condemning what happened. Reporting from the United Center, Charlie DeMar, CBS 2 News.